some of us who are, you know, in different positions in life. But the one thing I know, it's important for us to have clarity. It's important for us to have direction. Um, it's important for us to understand who we are, where we're going. And so for me, I really just want to share this thought or this, you know, no, these notes that are prepared because it's something that I've applied to my life as well. Um, and I'm really excited about it. Um, today is a new day. And I like to start most of my videos or all of my videos by giving God thanks for his goodness, for his mercies and his grace, for his faithfulness and for his loving kindness. Now, you know the ethos and the art of my, um, my ministry is about developing leaders and entrepreneurs. I'm here to help people to develop their ideas. If you have a vision to guide you as to how to walk in that vision, you know, understanding your purpose. And so um, I know that in everything, you have the business side, you have the personal side. And so today I just want to share, it's an overview really, so you can apply it in any area of your life. We know our lives is three-dimensional, so you've got the um, body, mind, and spirit. Um, but today I want to talk to you about a review. Now, we've co we're coming to the end of the year. It's 2021, and um, it's been, for some of us, a very rocky year. For some of us, it's been, you know, different type of year. It can be in business, it can be in person. And for me, it wasn't, it was a bittersweet year because I finished my degree this year. So that was a good thing for me. But then there's also the side where I lost um, family members, my aunts, my sister this year. And so it's, it's sort of like a bittersweet year for me. Nevertheless, I am still here. I am still standing, still giving God thanks and praise for his goodness, for his mercies and for his grace. He's such an awesome God and I am forever grateful. As I said earlier, I'm not 100%, so please excuse my grogginess in my voice. Um, so yes, yeah, so I want to look at um, reviewing the year, we're coming to the end of the year and it's that time where people start to strategize and start to plan for the year to come, especially if you're in business. So for the year to come, you start to put things in place. What do you wanna do? Some of us have already done, but it's not, it doesn't hurt if you still go back and you still look over what it is you've planned. And so what I have um, you know, put together is, four key things that I think is important for us to understand and to make sure we do in order to move forward. And that's why, hence the topic for my thing is about a strategic review for a clear outlook. It's important because when you know, when you look back and you know where you've made a mistake or you know where you were lacking or where you were slothful or where you could have done more, you, would then plan ahead better um, than it was before. So there are four key things that I want you to think about. Hopefully anyone that's listening to me, you're prepared. Or if you're listening to this broadcast later on today, um, make sure you've got your notepad and you take these points down. The one thing I always encourage people to do as well is to make sure that when you learn anything, don't just learn it or don't just listen and understand and don't apply. It's important for you to apply. Application is important because that's the only way you will see results. That's the only way you will prove if it works for you, if it's for you or not. And so one of the first key principles that I think is important is for you to reflect. In order to review, you have to reflect. So it's, it's key that you do a um, self-assessment. I'm someone that is so key. Everything I do, 
I reflect on it, I assess it, I see where, you know, Sandra, you could have done better there or you could have applied this there. You could have said that. So next time, make sure you do this or make sure you do that. So I think, you know, it's important that we reflect on the year. What went wrong? What could have I done better? What's my personal life like? What's my business life like? What's my, if you're a Christian, what's my church like, or church life or my ministry like? What position am I in? Where am I at? What do I need to do to improve or even applaud yourself on things that you've done really, really well um, and keep going on that? But it's important for us to reflect. Reflection is key, key, key in anything you do in order for you to move forward. You, you know, self-assessment, because you have to have a growth mindset. And in order to have a growth mindset, you have to be able to reflect. You have to see where you need to be strong. You know where your strengths are. You know where your weaknesses are. How do I develop that? So these are things that we have to really, really take on board and look into and make sure we reflect. Then the second point that I wanna share with you is renew. So when you reflect, sorry, when you reflect, you will look at some of the strategies you've already had um, and see whether they're working. If they're not working, then you would renew them. You would either, um, some of them you could renew by actually Keep going, keep doing that one. But then some of them, you will renew it by doing something, something completely different. Because at the end of the day, it is so key. It is so key, so, so, so key to make sure whatever you're doing in your personal life or in your business life, make sure it's working. If you're just joining my life, please, please share, share with a friend. There's someone that needs to hear this. So share, go ahead and share this live and, um, and I'll continue to share what I have here. So um, you have to renew how to plan. Um, and what you have to remember as well, the thing I, 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 I sense about this renew is that you have to remember that different parts of your life intertwine and they connect. You understand? How you plan will affect Say, for example, your finances. If you decide, you know what, personally, I've gained too much weight, I want to lose weight, then you have to think about, do I have the money to pay to go gym? Do I have the money to um, start shopping to buy the right food that I need so I'm eating healthy? And so these are the things where you make a, one decision, it will affect another area of your life. So... When you, when you reflect and, and, and you start to apply things, it intertwines with different areas of your life. But so it's important for you to understand these key principles in order for them to work. Everything affects something else. Everything affects something else. So it's important that if you decide that I'm gonna lose weight, you need to work out, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna need the finances to make sure I can pay to go to the gym, if it, you know, or to make sure I've got the right gear, so the right trainers. If I decide I don't want to go to the gym, but I want to do start walking in the park or something, it's, it's still important that you're wearing the right shoes. So you, you have to have the right trainers. It's important also for you to be eating the right food. So, you, you know, that's just an example of how one decision can affect the other. So depending on the strategy you decide to work with, we have to make sure that it works all around. It's, 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 it's what we call a holistic review, if that makes sense. Yes. And you also have to make sure you assess each and every goal or each and every um, strategy or plan that you have. You also have to prioritize. You have to prioritize what's important. So even though you might say, I'm doing this in 2022, Prioritize them. Everything can't be done at the same time. So you would do 
one, what's more important. So you would make a list of what's the most important and then you go from there. Or it depends on the season and the timing. Some things you can do at the beginning of the year. Something is best to do in the middle of the year, the summer. Some things is best to do in the winter. So, it, you know, or autumn, it just all depends on what the plan is and what's the best time to apply that plan or to um, kickstart that plan. Then the third point I have is make sure Make sure you've got a vision and a mission. Make sure you've got, you, you have clarity on your aims and your objectives. Make sure that you, you know, because your vision is your perception, your perceptive um, sight of where you're going. Your, your, your vision is, is that sight of the final destination. What is it that I wanna achieve? And your mission is how you will get there. So always look at the vision as the eye, where you see yourself, and your mission is how you're going to get there. So whatever strategic plan you have or what you've reviewed, always make sure you work out, okay, this is where I see myself at the end of 2021, and this is where I want to go come 2022. But how do I get there? So that, that's where you have to have a mission plan. And a mission plan has to be strategic to guarantee that it will work. Yes? So it's important that you have a mission plan and then you have your aims and your objectives. Why? What do you plan to get out of it? What's the benefit? These are key things when you're making your, when you're having your strategic review and you're planning for the future, you're planning for the year ahead and or years to come because you've got two year plan, you've got one year plan, you have three year plan, you have five year plan. So it depends on how far you want to go. This I don't know if some of you might be familiar with a Gantt chart. Um, a Gantt chart is a good tool to use to um help you and guide you on your plan and to see where you're successful or to see what you've achieved uh, if you need to push something back so if i've done this if i've given myself six months to do a particular um task and i see that i need to extend that time then on a gantt chart it, it will be there as evidence to show you where you, where you're at what you've achieved uh, if you need more time, because it all it covers all of that. So it's important for you to understand the different type of tools that are out there that you can use. Or some people just simply use their diary. Um, I don't know, many of you might know her, Delia Doily. That's my niece. She's done a fantastic book called The Kalinda Challenge Journal. It's a journal, actually. And what it does, it helps you to prioritize um, your personal life, your ministry life, and your business. It's a three-in-one journal. It's very, very powerful. I've been using this, and it has given me so much clarity. It has helped me to structure. It has helped me to organize myself, um, not just on a personal level, but in my ministry, in church, in um, my business, you know, my company, my organization, you know, that I'm the director and founder of, Sandalism Empire Limited. And so it's key for us to have structure. You can get this on our website. It's www.dglobal.us. So that's www.deeglobal.us. I hope I said that right. Dana, if you're watching, please put your website in the chat um, so that anyone that's interested can purchase one of these. It's really, really, it's a really, really good tool to have. So it's, in, it's key that we understand the tools that we need to use. Um, and I love this book because it breaks down the different areas in my life and it helps me to structure them and to see where they overlap and they intertwine and how best to make sure that I'm doing what's best, not just for um, my ministry or my business, but for me, you know, it's, it's so, so key um, that I do that. 
also when you have to remember why it's important to have a mission because your mission is your heart. It's the heart of the matter. It's the, the heart of why you want to do what you want to do. The heart of why you choose to stand in this position. You choose to become this person. You choose to operate in this area. There's so much different things you could be in life, but you choose to be this person and you want to do it well. And it's the heart. So if you have a mission, your mission will help others also to understand who you are, what you're about and how you plan to achieve this. And so that's key in making all this decision. So, um, so the third one was your aim and objectives. You know, why you do this, what's the benefit for it? And when you understand why you do something, because there's no point doing something and you don't know why. I think it's just pointless in doing something that you really truly don't understand why you do it, because then you won't have, you won't be connected enough to do your best because when you, when you know why you do something, you make more effort in doing it. Yes, you do. When you know why you do something, you make more effort, especially if it's something that's close to your heart. And you understand, if I move this chair and bring it over there for someone to sit, that will help that person to rest. So this is why I'm lifting this chair. I'm lifting this chair to support someone else. I'm lifting this chair to make comfort available to someone else. And so it's key that you understand why you do what you do and make sure you love what you do. So it's key to have passion. It's key to be zealous. You have to be a people person. You have to be. And you also need to be able to pray and ask God to help you, to bring the right people in your life, to bring destiny helpers in your life. It's important for you to pray to God in everything. The Bible says in Proverbs um, 3, verse 5 and 6, that you must acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. And so... Whenever you're doing something, you have to understand why you're doing it. What's the benefit of doing it? If you're just joining me, hi, Sharon. If you're just joining me, Donovan, thank you for watching. If you're just joining me, we're talking about um, a strategic review for a clearer outlook. We're talking about reviewing the year. What sort of year you had? What is the plan? For going forward it's important for us to review in order to go forward because we can see what year we've had some of us have had good years some of us have had a, a, a rocky year for me it's bittersweet i had good and i had bad all mixed together but nevertheless as i said earlier i thank god for the moment if you're just joining me please share please share this slide so that there's there's something for someone to hear and I'm hoping that, you know, it will reach the heart of those who need to hear it. And so, so point three is the aim and objectives. When you understand why you do, let me review it anyway. Let me review what I uh, did earlier. So there's four key principles I was talking about um, in setting strategy for the new year. And we're, we're looking at reviewing. And I said, number one, reflect. Reflect on the year, reflect on what you've done, how you've done it, what you did right, what you did wrong, what could have been better, what do I, what new tools do I need, what do I need to apply, um, is it me, do I need to train myself, do I need to um, educate myself based on a particular area, whatever it is, it's important for us to reflect, how is my family life? Do I have a balance when it comes to my family life and my Christian life? Or if you're not a Christian in your business, whichever way, if you're in leadership, do I have a balance? It's, that is just so, so key. And then the second point is a renew. When you renew, you renew your plan. You renew your plan from reflecting. You will renew your plan and you will realize that some of your plan, they interconnect or they intertwine or they overlap. And I said earlier, for example, if you decide you want to lose weight, you have to look at your finances because you have to decide, do I need to go to the gym? 
if I need to go to the gym, I have to think about the gym fee. I have to think about the um, the clothes that I'm going to wear. I have to think about the shoes. I also have to think about new meal plan. So I'm going to have to change my eating habit and eat more healthier. So all these things will impact your finances. And so it's key for you to understand when you're planning, you have to have a holistic view of what it is that you need because some decision will affect other areas of your life. So number two is a renew um, um, outlook. Uh, then number three, we talk about having a vision and a mission. Your vision is the eye, it's perspective, where you're going, what you see, that's your vision. And it's also intertwined with your purpose as well. Your vision also intertwines with your purpose. And then you also have your mission. Now your mission is what will help you to have a sense of direction as to how am I gonna do this? Your mission is the heart of your, your, your attitude, the heart of your the process that you're gonna go through in order to get to your vision. Because remember, your vision is your final destination, is the overall view of where you see yourself or what you choose or you what you wanna accomplish or achieve. So that's um, your vision. But your mission is the strategy as to how, step by step, how am I gonna get there? How am I gonna apply this? What am I gonna do? At what time am I gonna do it? So that's key to have a vision. And then thirdly, we were looking at the aims and the objectives. What's the aim and what's the benefits? Why do I do this? How will it benefit me or how will it benefit the community or my family or my ministry? How will it benefit me in leadership? When you understand why you do something, you do it with more passion. You do it with because you love it. You do it because it makes you feel good. Then you will do it with excellence. It's important for you to understand that what we do should honor God. And so when we apply certain things to our lives and we are doing it, we have to remember it's not necessary to please man. When you do things to please God, everybody will benefit everybody will benefit i also talk about in that area that you have to have tools that you work with so there's the gantt chart that shows you the different um, months or the year ahead and it shows a different time where you can record or plan when you want to do something at what time of the year you want to do it or you know whether that plan is a one-year plan, a three-year plan, a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, it doesn't matter. It's giving you a clear view or a clear outlook as to the, the part you choose to take, what the final destination where your vision is your overall vision, and the mission is the process that you go through to get there, right? So I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's also important to have good tools. And I was talking about this calendar challenge um, journal by um, Dahlia Doily. And you can get it on our website. It's www.d, that's D-E-E global dot U-S. And you can go on there and purchase one of these. It's awesome. It covers your personal life. It covers your business life. It covers your ministry life if you're in ministry. And so these are three key areas that I think everyone, you know, believes in something and everyone has a personal life. Everyone believes in, I believe in Jehovah God. So for me, it's important that I have something that covers my ministry life. And then there's the personal life and then there's my business as I'm the founder and, and CEO of Sandalism Empire Limited. So this is my personal calendar journal. I put my dates, I put my day, I put my plans in there and there's a section that help you understand the plan, your plan for the week, your plan for the month, uh, your review to see you know, what you've achieved. This is an awesome, awesome tool. I really, truly recommend this. I endorse it. So please go out to um, the Kalinda channel, Challenge by Dahlia Doily. Go out and grab one, grab your copy. And also, 
Um, so yes, yeah, so that's one tool. And as I shared before, you've got the Gantt chart that you can also use. Point number four, and this is something, I didn't have this point down earlier until after um, I start putting everything together, I choose to have this point, is become accountable. Accountability will help you get to where you want to go. And so if you associate yourself with like-minded people or someone, if you have a mentor or a business coach and, and, and you know, Sandal is Empowering Limited, that's the service we offer. If you become accountable to someone, then it will push you, it will encourage you to do what you have to do. It will encourage you to accomplish the goals that you set ahead of you. And one of the things I want you to understand, be real, set smart goals. Make sure your objectives are smart. You understand? Make sure they are smart. Make sure they are attainable. Make sure they are timely. Make sure that is something that you can, you know, you can achieve. And if it's not a hero that you're strong in, you'll find the right people that can support you in that area. But it's not about beating up yourself. It's about understanding that everything takes time. And don't, I would recommend, and I really encourage you, don't try to be like anyone else. You are unique. You, you know, my mentor, Dr. Joan Myers, um, she always encourages me whenever she comes around or whenever we have our sessions. And she's always telling me, Sandra, you are one of a kind, right from God's mind. And I believe that with all my heart. And so because of that, I know that I am unique. I am one in 7.8 billion people on this planet. So there's no other me but me. And I have to be true to myself. I have to be true to who I am and what I can do and how I can do it. And I mean, not everything I do is for everyone. Some people might like it, some might not like it. But at the end of the day, it's for someone. And the right people will come along, even, even this very life. Not everything I say is for everyone, but there's something for someone. There may be, you know, all of it might not be for you, but there's a point that you can take away and you can apply. And as I said before, application is key. There's no point in you learning something and you don't apply it to your life. You don't try to become your absolute best self. Developing a growth mindset is key because you need to make sure you're developing yourself. Self-development is key. And that includes reading. That includes listening to, um, say, for example, a podcast or watching videos that would edify you or studying. Uh, you know, and there's, there's short courses that you can do. It doesn't have to be a degree as such. You can, you can zone in on a particular um, area, say, for example, marketing. And there's short courses on marketing or, or digital, um, how to learn to work the digital platform. Or even in um, coaching, there's, short, there's course, courses in coaching and there's courses in mentoring. So, it, it, you know, there's courses in counseling. There's so many different courses out there that we can do. So try and get yourself educated and, and develop yourself to become your best, to make sure that whatever you do, you're doing it to the best of your ability and doing it unto God. So my final point, which is to become accountable, is so, so key because when you're accountable to someone, it will encourage you to keep going. It will encourage you and drive you to stay focused. And remember, the key to success is consistency and focus. You have to be consistent in whatever you do even when you don't have the crowd around you, even when no one is cheering you on. Become your best cheerleader. Make sure you're cheering yourself on. Because you know what? No one don't have to say you're doing well. Tell yourself you're doing well. Tell yourself, you know what? I've got something to offer and I'm going to do my part. You know, there's so many um, people out there might be doing the same thing that you're doing. 
It's not about them. It's about you fulfilling your purpose. It's about you accomplishing what you were placed on this earth to do. So I remind you that within you is a seed with the potential to become a tree, with the potential to become a forest. Make sure you understand who you are and whose you are. You were created with purpose for purpose. And so it's key that you understand that you're important, you're vital to someone, but there is someone on this journey of life waiting on you to make a difference, waiting on you to impact their lives, waiting on you to give them a word of encouragement, to tell them, come on, waiting on you that when they fall, you can stretch forth your hand and help them up if they need help. There is someone out there waiting. Have yourselves an amazing day. Have yourself an awesome day. You are blessed to be alive today. There's so many that started the year that's not with us today. So I want you to remember, in order to plan for 2022 as business men and women, make sure you review. What I, what I also would love to say to you is that when you review, when you review, <laughs> it helps you with your next decision. It helps you to indicate the time to move. And that's so, so key. The time to move. Some people say, oh, you know, you're in a relationship. You shouldn't be looking back or you shouldn't be doing this. It's important to review. It's important to look back sometimes because it shows you where you were and where you are now and where you can be. It also helps you to say, say, for example, you're driving a car and you have to look in your rear view mirror. You want to turn from the two streets ahead. You have to look in your rear view mirror to see what's coming, to see your position so you can know, OK, is it time for me to go over into the, the next lane to prepare myself to turn? So it's not always bad to look back. I, I, I find it's a key. It's when you don't hold on to things. And that's the key to it. Stop holding on to things that will weigh you down. You review in order to move forward. It's important for us to have a strategic plan because it will give you clarity when you, you, you look out on what you plan to do for 2022. Or if you're a business person like me, you have a five-year plan or a three-year plan. Um, but it's important. So I would say make your, your, you know, your goals, do them small. So do a three-month plan. Then you do a six-month plan. Then you do a nine-month plan. And you do a one-year plan. But have regular reviews. Reflect on what you've done. Pat yourself on the back when you've done well. Cheer yourself on when you're going. Even if there's no one telling you you're doing it well, keep going. Don't give up. Fall and fall big. Fail and fail big. And as far as I'm concerned, even using that word fail, for me, failure is when you never try. Failure is when you never try. You never get up and make an attempt to do something. I remember, I can't remember the name of the inventor, but when I was going uni, I learned about this man that he invented this product. And 299 times he tried to launch that product. And 299 times it didn't work. And when he finally got it to work the 300th time, he was being interviewed and they asked him, how do you feel to know that you've tried to launch this product and it failed over 200 times? And he said, no. And I love this response. He said, no, the product never failed. What I did, I learned 299 ways that the product did not work. Did you get that? So for him, for 299 times he tried to launch that product, it didn't work. And so when the person that was interviewed asking him how he felt to know that the product didn't work so many times, he said, um, I learned 200 and no, failed, sorry. The person asked him how he feel that the, the product failed. And he said, what I learned was 299 ways the product didn't work. So it's your perception 
in everything. You know, it's important for us to learn from whatever it is that we need to learn from. Uh, failure is when you never, ever try. That's failure. So I would say, step out there. Try. God has given you an idea. God has placed an idea on your heart. And you might think, oh, it's mm, maybe it's not going to work. Maybe people won't like it. It's not for you to worry about that. You will never know unless you try. Take the risk or you will lose the chance. Take the risk because you never know where that can take you. Take the risk. I don't want to be the person, I don't know about you, but I'm someone who I can't afford to be pondering and wondering, what if? What if I had done this? Or what if I had done that? Maybe, no, I'm going to step. I'm always that person that leaps. I'm always trying. I've done so many businesses in my lifetime. I have. I'm always trying. And so I encourage you to have a strategic plan for the year to come. Make sure you reflect on where you've been, what your year was like. Was it a bittersweet year like me? I graduated from uni. I was excited. I, 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 you know, I've launched my business this year as well in March. And I was excited, you know, but I also have lost loved ones. The same month I lost my business, I lost my aunt, my dear aunt. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even go to the funeral because we were still in the height of the pandemic, you know. And not long after that, I lost my sister. But in the midst of that, I enjoyed the fact that I studied for three years and I um, end up with a, a degree in business and management. I apologize for my voice because I'm, I'm under the weather a little bit, but I'm hoping that you're hearing me with clarity. Um, I, Beverly and Norma, thank you so much for joining me as well. Chavel, hey, good to see you, girl. Thank you all. Share the slide, please. Share, 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 share. We're talking about strategic review for the for the year this year, and you know, having a clear outlook for the year to come, making sure that um, we understand. And before that, thank you, Andrea. Not to mention the loss of my mom. I lost my mom even before that, and I had to still rise above i still had to find a way to keep going and to keep pressing so i implore you if you've got an idea don't give up on the idea don't think it's too small no it might not work no try try step out there and do something but as i said to you these key this these four key principles which is to reflect mm -hmm. renew so you reflect you know self-assessment what have I done wrong? What was my year like personally, business-wise? If you're in ministry like myself, in ministry-wise, um, it's key to reflect on those things. Renew. What are, what, what's the plan? What's the new plan that I'm going to have for 2022? Have I decided I'm going to lose weight? So, okay, if you decide what you're going to lose weight, that's going to impact another part of your life, which could be your finances. Because you have to think about, okay, I need to buy clothes. I need to buy trainers. I also need to buy the right food. You understand? So that will impact your finances as well. Also, your time. Your time management is key in every single thing. So you have to make sure that, you know, you understand where they intertwine, how they impact each other, but make sure in everything you've got a balance. There's also the third point of having your vision and your mission clearly written out, clearly stated. So you understand your vision is your eye where you're going, your overall view of where you're going and your mission is how you're going to get there. The strategies, the tools that you will use. And I talk about the Gantt chart. I mean, a plan like a one-year plan. Or as I said to you, if you're new in it, you can have a three-month plan because I, I set goals. I set short-term goals and I set long-term goals. So it can be a three-month plan. It can be a six-month plan. It can be a one-year plan, a three-year plan, a five-year plan. Even a 10-year plan, if you're a business person like me. I talk about this book. It's the calendar, calendar Challenge Journal. What it does, it challenges you to structure your life. It challenges you to 
cover the areas in your life. So it, it talks about your personal life. It talks about your business life. And it talks about if you're in ministry or if you're someone that goes to church or you're part of the choir. So you know you, you have a responsibility. It helps you to structure it on a daily, a weekly, and a monthly basis. And at, there's even a section for you to review how your month went or how your week went, what you've done, what you could have done better. So this is a tool I'd recommend. It's by Dahlia Doily. You can get it on our website, which is www.deeglobal.us. So that's www.deeglobal.us. This is an awesome tool. I got this tool um, and I've been using it, writing down, when I have, I have an idea, writing down what I need to do, writing down how I'm going to spend my time, what I'm going to do with my time. And it's key that we have structure. It's key because it's just like if you're in an environment and your environment is messy. Say, for example, your room, your room was messy with clothes and things all over the place. What this does, it helps you to organize. When something is organized, it gives you clarity you you have more a clearer view of what you want to do and where you want to go Dela, if you're watching please put your website in the chat so so they can get so they can know sorry where to get there um calling the challenge um because it's key we're going into the new year we want to be a people of purpose we want to make sure we're walking in purpose we want to make sure we're structured we want to do everything with excellence because god is a god of excellence and so it's key that we understand that um, anything we do in our lives must honor God. And so when I talk about structure, it's also structure in the mind. It helps you to think clear. It helps you to see clear. It helps you to understand. And then so you can see where things might overlap. You can see where, you know, you can organize your time well. And I truly, 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 I'm so excited for this, this very tool. Oh my God, it was a blessing. It has been a blessing in my life. And also remember, we talked about we talked about the Gantt chart earlier as well. You can have a Gantt chart. You can have a three-year plan. You can have a one-year plan, a six-month plan, a five-year plan. You can have all these plans. But what the Gantt chart does, it gives you, you can put that on your wall where it gives you a visual insight is to, into what you want to do and when you want to do it, as in the time, or if you have achieved it, or if you do need more time to extend where you're going. So I implore you to get a Gantt chart if you don't have one. Um, you can get some free templates and make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. I'm so excited about this journal, you don't understand. Make sure you get your calendar journal. It's www.deglobals, that's D-E-E-global.us. It's calling the challenge by Miss Delia Doyle. It's an awesome tool for business people, for leaders in ministry, and also for your personal life. So please, please make sure you grab a copy. It's Christmas. You can, you can, you can even buy it for someone for their Christmas gift. It's key. We are looking to build each other here. We're looking to, you know, um, develop each other and, and each one teach one and each one build one. You understand? So make sure you grab your copy, guys. The calendar challenge. Let me put my face next to it. That's how cute it is. That's how much it's worth it. So make sure you grab your copy um, and start to prepare yourself. You don't wait until um, January the 1st, 2022 to start planning. No. You start planning from now. You plan to fail when you fail to plan. Oh, there you go. Dale, just put in the chat. You can also get it on Amazon.com. Yes? So you plan to fail when you fail to plan. We're living in a time of uncertainty. And so we have to have goals. We have to have structures. We have to have plans and vision for our lives. We have to. It is absolutely key and so remember to apply these four key principles in your life you need to reflect so that's where you do self-assessment and please if you're watching this live please share 
share it on your um your page share it share it with your friends and family and as i said please excuse my voice because i am a bit under the weather but it's important that you reflect it's important that you do a self assessment some of us we might be good at something but there are things that we're not good at it's important that we we see where we've gone wrong right so self assessment is key how was my year reflect on the year how was my year my year as i said earlier was a bit of sweet i had good times where i launched my business um, in march and in that very same year i lost my aunt in that very same year i lost um a, a close family member tamika who you know she's my sister lost sister so she's family anyway um i lost and, and then i was still in uni at the time doing my dissertation and so i went um i did my dissertation went home to be with my lovely sister, spent her birthday. I lost my sister just after that. Prior to that, I lost my mom. And so after coming back after marrying my sister, I graduated with a bachelor's of heart in with others in business and management. So it was a bittersweet for me, but I'm still here. I'm the founder and director of Sandalless Empowering Limited. And I am excited. I'm still making a difference. I'm still having an impact. And so it's key that you reflect on these things. Pat yourself on the back when you've done good. Remind yourself that you're only one person and you have to look after you as well. So when you reflect, make sure you make time for yourself. When you reflect, make sure that within that reflection, you make time for yourself. And then you're going to go and you're going to review and renew what you want to do. So as I said, and I'm gonna still use this example, if you decide come 2022, I'm gonna lose weight. You have to think about the other areas of your life that it will affect or impact, have an impact on. And as I said, it could be your finances. If it's your finances, you have to think about the money to buy the, 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 the trainers, the money to buy the clothes to wear to the gym, the gym fee. You have to think about the money to buy the food because now I'm going to have to be eating differently. I have to make sure that the temple, my body, which is the temple, is being fed right, that I become healthy so that I can be healthy in my mind and healthy in my body to do what I was called to do. There is also um, the third point, which is to have a vision and a mission. And we know that the vision is your eye, you know, where you, you see where you're going and you know the mission is the process. How am I going to get there? And so these are things that are key. And then fourth and last, but important, just the same, is to become accountable. In case you didn't know, my name is Sandra Doyle Leslie, and I am the founder and CEO of Sandalism Empowering Limited. Here at Sandalism Empowering Limited, we do mentoring on a personal level and on a business level. We, we do life coaching, we do business startup. So we, if you've got an idea, we help you to uh, put that idea into a practical way and start turn it into a business. We also help you to strategize and to write your business plan. So whatever it is that you need, especially when it comes to business, you're in the right place. So check us out. Delia, could you put my website in the chat? So that's www. SandalesEmpoweringLimited.com. That's www.SandalesEmpoweringLimited.com. Please, 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 please. Make sure you check us out. You book a consultation. You might think it's nothing. Give us, you know, give us a shout. Get in touch with us. Just let's talk. We, we give a, a, a 30 minutes free consultation to see. It's like an assessment as well to see where you're at, what, what the needs are. We offer this very bespoke service because we think that everyone is unique in their own way. And so we tailor everything to suit the need that you have. Okay? So, yeah, that's, that's just basically what I wanted to share with you today. And remember, as I give the analogy about being a driver, when you when you use your rear view mirror and you look back you want to turn two streets up the road it's important for you to look back and check your mirrors looking back is good 
because you have to check your mirrors. You have to know when to indicate that I'm going to turn. And so it gives you the right time to do what you got to do. It gives you the right time to do what you got to do. So come on, guys. We're going to apply these strategies. We're going to apply these um, strategic plans, uh, these principles, I should say. These principles, sorry, um, to our lives. Because I don't know about you, but there's no point in learning something and you don't apply them. And when you apply them and you see that it works, believe me when I tell you, you will build someone. Because you're going to be so excited about it that you're going to be willing to share it. I've learned to apply these strategies in my life. I've learned when I found out about the calendar challenge and I start to calendarize my life in every area and making sure my personal life, I am accounted and accountable when it comes to my personal life. I am also accountable when it comes to ministry and I'm accountable when it comes to my business because the tree is important and they have to work. My personal life includes my family. So I have to make time for my family. I have to make time for myself. Because remember, I am the one person dealing with all of that. I shared a post this morning and I remind us all that we are all three dimensional. So you've got the body, you've got the mind and you've got your spirit. So just like how here is important to the body and the mind, so is prayer. It's very important to your soul. It's important that you acknowledge God in everything that you do. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Let it become a scripture that you know quite well. It says that you must acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. So don't lean on your own understanding. Do not, because you will fail. But when you acknowledge God, when you put him at the center of everything that you do, when you let him become your source, he will provide the right resource. He will provide the destiny helpers. He will provide the people that will work with you to build, whatever is laid on your heart. He will help you to walk in your purpose and fulfill your destiny. Have yourself an amazing day. Know that you are love. Know that within you is a seed with the potential to become a tree, with the potential to become a forest. Oh my God, I can see, can you? I am super excited about what God is about to do. It's a new season. And, you know, sharing with the woman of God, the other day, we were talking about finishing strong. It's not too late. There's still time. We've still got a few weeks in the year. If you, if you feel like you failed at something, and as I said to you earlier, I don't believe there's such a thing as failure. Failure for me is when you never try. But if you think you fail, it's okay. Still take the risk again. But don't lose your chance. Take the risk, step out there, walk in your purpose, fulfill your destiny because you have to be accountable for your life. It is key. It's important that you choose the people that you're connected with. Find like-minded people, people that will encourage you, people that will build you. Find like-minded people. But remember, there's someone on this journey of life waiting on you and I to make a difference. And so it's important that you develop yourself with a growth mindset. Tell yourself, the girl I was yesterday, I'm a different girl today. Yesterday I was in bed all day. I could, I'm not talking that clear and I still couldn't talk this well. But I choose this morning to rise up and come in my office. I said to myself, I'm not staying in bed, I'm a leader. There's people that's depending on me. And so, yes, I'm not gonna work all day, but I have to take a bit of time to do what I got to do. I had to, I had this live schedule in my diary and I tell myself I had to do it. And that's why I'm here. I hope you were blessed. I hope you got something from what I shared. I hope you take up the challenge and get yourself a good tool that you will need. 
This is a tool that has changed my life. The Kalinda Challenge by Dahlia Doily. It covers three dimensions. It covers your personal life, your ministry if you're in ministry or leadership. It also covers um, your business. So make sure you get your copy, start writing, start filling it out, start using it to apply and get clarity and structure in your life because it's so, 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 so important. So important. With that clarity, it, it, it gives you, you, it makes your mind clear to make decisions. It helps you to recognize things more when things are organized in your life. You're not a mess. You don't have anything foggy in your mind. It's so, so important. And I truly, truly hope that you will get a copy. It doesn't matter wherever you are in the world. That's the beauty about technology. Technology, and remember, you can get it on our website, www.deeglobal.us. You can also get it on amazon.com. And remember, try and get a copy of a Gantt chart. Get a template, personalize it to yourself. I will be creating one and I'll be putting it on my website. So by now and next week, I'll be creating one that you can have your plan, set your goals, and then you can use that as a roadmap as to where you're going. So you'll have your vision and then you have your mission, where you're going and how you plan to get there, and by when. Have yourselves an amazing day. Know who you are, know that you're blessed, you're loved, and there's purpose within you, for you were created with purpose for purpose. I'm excited to see you on my next live. Thank you on YouTube. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching on YouTube, because I'm also on YouTube live. Um, so thank you very, very much. Have yourselves an amazing day. This is Sandra D., and I am so excited about what God is about to do. Please share your testimonies. Let me know how, you know, this material, how these four principles, that is um, to reflect, to renew, um, to have a vision and a mission, and to also be accountable. Let me know how these four principles, when you've applied it to your life, be it in your personal life or your ministry or business, let me know. It's nice to know how. How did it impact your life? What difference did it make? Did it give you clarity? Are you more organized? Do you understand about timing? How is your time management now as opposed to then? And what was your year like? And what has your year been? Or what was the perception of your year to come? When you reflect and you see where you're coming from, What's your perception of where you're going? Share your testimony because we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimonies. So share your testimony. Share, share, share. Share this live with your friends. Share it on your feed. And just remember, you're destined for greatness. You're destined for greatness. Let no one tell you anything because the only person that can stop you is you. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye.